Okay, so simplifying algebraic expressions. So what's the first thing you're going to do here? What kind of math is happening here? Yeah, Marion? Yeah, this is multiplication. That's, that's good news, right? So do we cross multiply here? Cross multiply, yes or no? No. What can we do? Cross cancel. Tell me why I just did this. Tell me why I did this. I said... 7, I'm going to change my 7 to 1 here, and I'm going to change my 7 to 1 here. What happened there? Why is that true? Right, because if I multiplied this, denom excuse, this denominator times this one and kept the top, they might have 7 over 7, wouldn't I? So that's 1. What am I going to do with this 4? This 4 turns into a what? 4 turns into what? You have to think your way through that. Yes, Nick? 1. By doing that, though, I'm, I have to turn the 12 into what? Into 3. So far, so good. There are lots of, how else could I have done this? There's another thing I could have done here. I just could have done what, Joel? I could have just multiplied everything across. I'm just trying to get some pieces out. I think if you don't mind now, though, Joel, I'm going to, if you don't mind, Joel, I think I'm just going to multiply now across. I didn't want to do the 12 times 7 because it's a pain in the neck for me. And I'm not sure I would recognize how I'd get factors, right? Because you'd have 7 times 4, you have 28. What is 7 times 12, 84? I'm not sure I'd recognize all that stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm going to just rewrite this down here. I'm going to write x. Well, x times x to the fifth is x to the what? This is x to the first times x to the fifth is x to the x to the sixth. Oh, and I need this 3, don't I? Quint, I need... The y and the y? Oh, here and here? Yeah, I saw that, too. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, we can do it. I was just going to multiply it across, but yeah, 1, and, and you're going to cancel out this one also? Is that what you got? Yeah, how many of you see this? There's a, there are a ton of ways to do this. What I do first is I look for the obvious stuff first. I'm like, you know what, some of this stuff is really obvious. And then the stuff that's not as obvious to me, then I actually do some arithmetic there. So we have x to the first times x to the fifth is x to the sixth, right? times y squared is what? Yeah. y squared, right? Right, because this turned to 1. I multiplied this 1 times this y squared. Everybody, is my math okay? All right, now what? Now we have x squared times 1 is what? Sure, x squared. Uh, x to the fourth, yeah, sorry. Yeah, x to the fourth. And now what I'm looking at is this. I'm going to try to simplify this piece out right here, aren't you? How many of you are seeing this piece now? Because that's really all we have left to do, isn't it? Then x to the 6th over x to the 4th is what? Is x squared. So we have, I'm just going to bring it down again, Joel, if you don't mind. It's going to be 3x squared, y squared, isn't it? Is that okay? All right, let's stop for a second, find another one to do, and then go back to this. All right, we're back. After casino night at <laughs> Honors Algebra 2. All right, this is not public school. It's okay. Oh, Mr. Lindell. Oops. <laughs> oh, okay. Now what? What are you going to do? Why did I color code all this stuff? Because you like the color pink, Mr. Lindell. You really, really do. What? I swear to all you people watching this video, there are people here with me. I see Lucy, and I see Brianna, I see Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> what do you got? Quick, 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 like a bunny. Yeah, I mean, we color coded so it'll be easier to see what we have here. So how many of you can now see that we have 20 over 2, don't we? Which is obviously... 10, right? So this goes to 20 goes, I'm sorry, 2 goes into 20 10 times, 2 goes into itself 1 time. Some people say it cancels. It doesn't cancel. It goes to 1, doesn't it? It simplifies. Canceling is 2 minus 2. The 2's cancel. Be careful about the word cancel. And what about in this beautiful lavender color we have today on QVC? Call now. We only have 3,000 items left. They're going quick. Davey's answering the phones. 
So we have y to the 10th over y to the 6th, which is what? Is y to the 4th. You know what? Maybe we should have started over here. Yeah. We have this and this go to y to the 4th, don't they? Because y to the 10th over y to the 6th is y to the 4th. Yes? Isn't that right? And then what do we have here? This is a little bit trickier. What are you going to do with this? Because we have, a, we have a factor of x cubed here, a factor of x to the 1st here. And now up in the numerator, we have a factor of x to the 14th power. What? How can we simplify this? Yeah. It does simplify to x to the 10th because x to the 3rd times x to the 1st is x to the 4th, right? So what we could do here, Christine, is we could multiply across and say, well, this is the same as x to the 4th here, isn't it? And we could get rid of that. And then we could do x to the 14th over x to the 4th is x to the 10th. Is that okay? Is that good work? Seriously? Nothing? Good?